Ooh, nice intro. It's an origin game. We know what that means. And as much as I like doing other games, there's one series that keeps bringing me back to LPing, especially one that can now provide surround sound for its games. You know what this means. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to Let's Play Wing Commander Prophecy. So glad to be back in the Wing Commander series. Um, this game is actually the continuation of Wing Commander 4. This is the, uh, the next sequel of the game. So I just moved my mouse around to get the next FMV to start. So here we go. Looks kind of ominous there. Are we in the temple? During the reign of the Ancient Ones, Savar himself appeared in a vision to the first prophetess of Kilra. His words are recorded in the Toe of Sivar. There shall come a time when one who has the heart of a Kilrathi, but is not Kilrathi born, shall rain crimson fire down upon us, and Nathrak. Are they referring to Colonel Blair there? That Devro is not related to Angel. And it was Kilrantium, like a mineral from the surface of Kilra or something, maybe? Hmm. But hey, Rachel's back in this game. And so is Blair. Haha. And now we're in the homeworld of Kilra. Looks still beat up as ever. Whoa. What the heck is that? Hey, Maestro! Maestro, just like me. Sounds like he could be this game's maniac. This is it, Casey. A big 
time. Great. Our first duty, bearing piranhas to some high-tech bucket of bolts in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry about it, little man. I brought something here to pass the long, cold nights like a breeze, especially with the right company. That's contraband. Where did you get it? It's a diplomatic park. I borrowed it from the Consulate General's private reserve. Well, put it away, Stoop. We're end up in the brig. What are you worried about, Stoop? This isn't like fight school anymore. Ten hut! Jean Talbot. Call sign Stiletto. I'm acting commander of the Diamondback Squadron. Your initial assignment here on the midway. First lieutenant like her to rate an entire squadron. Because I'm that good, Mr. Garrett. Hmm. Apparently, your reputation precedes you. It seems the CAG would like to discuss that little incident with the Altarian Consulate's daughter. So it really was a primary reserve. <laughs> and you, Mr. Casey. Do you think that having a famous father is going to cut you any slack around here? You're dead wrong. With all due respect, I'm here on my own merits. Let's hope so. Because around here, you live or die by your flight stats. Understood? I did get the highest scores of any cadet at the academy. And the most demerits, according to your record. Listen. This is a make-or-break shakedown cruise for us. I don't have time to play babysitter. Got it? Now get yourselves registered on the system. And stow this swag before the CAG sees it. In enough trouble as it is. Well, they're off to a great start. I think she liked me. You think? Yeah, I think the lieutenant will like me. Stiletto. All right. Well, we're off to a good start. So let's go ahead and name our guy. Now, from what the information that I gathered, um, Casey doesn't have a, a call sign assigned to him, you know, in later missions and stuff. So we can pretty much name him whatever we want. Let's go with BCS Buster. Why not? All right. Let's check out the rest of this bad boy. Great. The keg is waiting, Mr. Garrett. We'll learn what CAG means later. All right. Well, we have officially made it onto the Midway. Let's see. What else do we got around here? Oh, we got Hawk, looks like. And wait, I think I recognize that guy in the back. Is that who we think I is that who I think it is? You're gonna have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all, and welcome to the next adventure.